Hey everybody, it's been a little while. I used to make a video series called Ask Matt and I kind of hit pause for a little while on that because of life. But I'm back. I went on Twitter and I asked people, do you have any more questions? And what it used to be before, it was sort of like a ongoing AMA where every single video was basically a new question. So somebody would ask a question and I would do a video to answer it. And so I went on Twitter yesterday and I said, hey, does anybody have any more questions? And I got tons of great questions. I'm going to start with the one that is the easiest for me just to kind of get me back into it. So Karsten Yaksh asked, what hardware and tools slash apps do you use? It's a fantastic question, and it's one that's relatively manageable for me to answer, in part because I have a page and a blog post that talk about these things. So the page is mattstauffer.com slash uses, and it's not perfectly up to date, so I'll kind of give you a little bit more here, but it's the general idea of what are the pieces of software that I use and what's the hardware I use. And I also have a blog post about how to set up your uh, local setup for basically podcasting, streaming, or even just remote work, and it's talking about microphones and uh, cameras and lights. And so I'll link both of those in the comments, um, but I can kind of walk you through those really quickly and also give some updates to those. So let's start with the hardware. The stuff I deal with that is not audio, that is not video, it's just normal day-to-day -day stuff. So we've got this Logi mouse, which is a really nice uh, vertical mouse. It took me a little while to get used to vertical mice, but and, you know because every single time I would just accidentally, you know, knock it onto the floor. But it's a, it it keeps your hand instead of your hand having to be this, which you can see is kind of like a little bit of an awkward thing. It allows your hand to kind of be at its natural state flowing with your arm. And I had a lot of really bad wrist pain, um, wrist issues where I was playing keyboard and I was. Um, biking and I was doing coding all the time and I got to the point where I basically couldn't use my left hand for close to a year and it was really bad. So at that same time I also switched to the Kinesis Advantage 2 keyboard which you may have seen in previous videos. It is a freaking space station monster and it is this amazing thing because it's their concave um, which is very cool because it's the way your your hands naturally sit. It does have a learning curve because um, it's using this different layout. I think it's called ortholinear, but basically it's a layout where a lot of things move to your thumbs instead of that would normally kind of be in your pointer finger and everything like that. So it took quite a while for me to learn, but really fantastic, really helped me with my pain. But Kinesis just recently launched a updated one that I got called the Advantage 360. And this is tented uh, Bluetooth, and you can also get a wired one if you want, um, battery powered version of the same thing. Now it's very expensive, it's like $400, but it is my favorite keyboard in the world, but now slim and a super adjustable and all these really cool things. Really, really love it, couldn't recommend it more. One downside that I'm still working on is every single time I restart my computer, um, it gets disconnected, which I almost never do, but still it's annoying, um, which is why I have this other one right here. So I need to work on that and figure out why that's going on. So that's my input. I use an iMac and an Apple Studio display, just old school stuff, nothing new or fancy. Oh, and I have a Stream Deck, which is one of those, one of these little doohickeys, but I haven't used it really since I stopped streaming. It's very cool. Maybe I'll start using it again at some point. Okay, let's talk about audio stuff. So I've got a Shure SM7B mic, and remember there's a, there's a blog post talking about all this. Shure SM7B mic on a Rode arm going through a Fethead cloud lifter to boost the audio input a little bit. It's going to an Onyx Blackjack, but I would be perfectly happy with any of the Scarlet or anything like that as a USB input. I just happen to have the Onyx Blackjack. Um, I've got a Sony A6300 camera running through an Elgato. I forget exactly what it is, but it's basically an HDMI to USB adapter that allows you to use any camera like this. And then my lights are also Elgato. They're not the Airs. They're the original um, key lights. Uh, I'd probably switch to Airs. Uh, if they had existed back then, because I don't need this much power. I mean, these things are way more than, I mean, let me just show you real quick, like, freaking, you know, I just don't need that much light, but this is all they had then, and I do love the fact that I can just play with them with um, my computer. It's really, really nice and very convenient, and you can switch the color, um, the color of the light. I can't figure, remember the word right now. So that, you can switch that and it's wonderful. So yeah, so that's my audio video stuff. It's all as much Elgato as possible because I love all the Elgato stuff and then you got all that. Let's talk about software. So software wise, um, from an audio perspective, I use Adobe Audition. I use ScreenFlow for editing my videos. I use Isotope. Um, I think I use the Isotope Standard or Regular or something like that, which is a set of plugins that they have, and I use it for D-Reverb and stuff like that. I use Loopback and um, Audio Hijack um, by Rogue Amoeba. They're really wonderful Mac-based tools that allow you for doing a lot of tweaking in your audio. And um, I think that's it. Oh, and if I need to do anything with GIFs, I use GIF Brewery. 
Um, when I did streaming, I used OBS and Restream, but I don't do any live streaming anymore. So let's talk about coding and productivity. I'll do productivity first and then coding. So productivity, I use Alfred as my app launcher. I use it for everything. I use it to open up every single app. I use it for all sorts of their, their more advanced features. I've been one of the paying users, PowerPack, I think it's called, for ages. Um, I use Rocket for emoji completion on Mac. Uh, Dropbox for backup, or well, Dropbox for sync, Backblaze for backup, Cloud App for sharing um, little snippets of videos and audio and stuff like that. I use Divi for my um, screen division, window management, and Barkeeper for managing my top bar in my menu bar and my preferences. Carabiner elements for managing my keyboard shortcuts. And then my actual apps that I use um, from a productivity perspective, every once in a while I go back into using Things. Things is fantastic. If you're gonna use a to-do app, Things is great. I just don't always stick in the to-do app life because I have ADHD, so I go between physical and apps. But when it's apps, it's gonna be Things. For mail, I use Mailplane for all my work emails because they're all on Gmail. And then for my personal email, which is on Fastmail because I'm a privacy nut, I use something called Mailmate, which is basically the Apple Mail app, but a little bit better. And I used to use TweetBot, but Elon Musk hates the APIs, so who knows where that's going to end from a Twitter perspective. And I also use this thing called Choosy that I really like, where every single time I click on a link, instead of popping it open a browser, it pops up a little um, icon with like all the different browsers that I use, and I just have Firefox and Chrome. If I don't do anything, when that pops up, I click again, it pops up in Firefox, or if I hit enter. But if I hit left or right or move my mouse a little bit, I can choose to open it in a different browser. So the majority of the time, I open things in Firefox because it's safety and protected. But if it's a work-related thing, sometimes I want to intentionally open it up in Chrome. So I just move my mouse over a couple pixels right before I click, and then I can choose to open things up in Chrome without having to copy the URL and then go paste it in Chrome after I've opened it up. So that's very convenient. Uh, I journal on day one. Um, trying to see if I use anything else that I really love. Oh, deliveries. I used the deliveries app on my Mac and my iOS to track all my deliveries. And one password. One password is the best password, the same thing you could possibly get. And I'm always trying to convince more people to use one password. And for music, it's Spotify. Uh, the majority of the time, and every once in a while, Apple Music, just because I have home pods. But Spotify would be everything if I could. Um, I think that's everything from a productivity. That's not, probably not everything, but that's most of them from a productivity perspective. All right, for, for coding. So in the terminal, I live in iTerm with Z Shell and Oh My Z Shell um, for managing everything. Um, I use Solarize Dark as my theme, I think. And I edit in VS Code these days. PHP Storm is great, and I keep wanting to go back to it. I got really good at it and stopped using it because my computer was too slow for it. And now it's not, but I'm just really good at VS Code. So I live in VS Code. Um, I write my book, blog posts, and any code that I want to be really fast in, and I don't want to wait for VS Code. I do all that in Sublime Text. Uh, material theme for a lot of my light and darks. I think I use Atom, A-T-O-M themes every once in a while. My Oh My Z Shell theme is D-Stuff T. My favorite font right now is JetBrains Mono. I use Firefox for all my br browsing as much as possible. Um, I don't trust Google at all, but Google Chrome is the best development tool, so I have to dip into it every once in a while. Um, let's see, Table Plus for anything database related. Um, I've got Valet um, and Takeout. I'm the maintainer for both of those, and I use them all the time. Oh, GitHub Desktop. I love GitHub Desktop. It is. I use Git on the, um, on the CLI primarily, but anytime I have to do anything at all complicated, like looking at larger diffs or choosing different pieces of the work that I've done to commit versus other stuff, GitHub Desktop, it makes it so easy. Adding a, an additional collaborator or something like that who, who created this um, this commit with me, all so much easier in GitHub Desktop. So I'm back and forth between the CLI and GitHub Desktop. Tinkerwell. I'm a Laravel programmer. I use Tinkerwell pretty regularly to um, just test out some new Laravel stuff. If I didn't say Photoshop, I love Photoshop. I've been in Photoshop my whole life. I've tried other apps. I use, you know, I can use Sketch and all these other cool new Figma, you know, what other people at work are doing. I know, I understand them, right? I spent a lot of time in Illustrator. I understand how vector-based tools work and everything like that. But if I'm really just trying to knock something out, I'm still going to do it in Photoshop. Freaking love Photoshop. I think that's it. I think it's my hardware and my software that I use every single day. Um, I really appreciate it, Karsten, for you kind of giving me one of those, oh, God. Sports metaphors. I'm terrible at sports metaphors. What's the one where a soft lob, softball? No. Where you give somebody something that's easier to start with. I feel like it's a sports metaphor. If you know what I'm talking about, please tell me in the comments um, because I cannot remember. So anyway, Karsten, thank you so much for the easy entry back into this. Um, so for future Ask Mats, hit me up on Twitter at Stop for Matt. Uh, leave a comment on this video or any of the other, of the other Ask Mats. 
I'll be happy to create a video for whatever uh, you ask within, you know, well, not for whatever, but like if I like it, it's a good question. I'm looking forward to make a video for it. So, <laughs> thank you so much for hanging out with me again. Obviously, I'm a little bit rusty, but it's really, really good to be back. So I'll be making more of these, more coding tutorials coming up soon. Until then, see you later.